Hello my beautiful little sunflowers, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. Uh, last year I filmed a what's in my bag video and that did really well. And then I realized that I filmed another what's in my bag video like the previous year. So I guess this is probably just going to be a thing on here. Recently I got another bag. It's once again another bag ooh, but this time it is instead of the medium crescent bag it is the small one and i think it's so cute this has been my everyday bag every day i say but i kind of just switch up my bags with whatever outfit i'm wearing and it's almost always a bagu because at this point i have almost every color bagu help me sponsor me i give you all the money <laughs> anyways uh let's get into it because I have a lot of stuff in here. Honestly, this thing is so spacious for being a small one. Like, look at that. There's so much going on in here. Ooh, ooh, but first, before I start, let me show you my keychains because I'm very proud of them. One of my favorite parts about getting a new bag ooh, or just like a new bag in general is the keychains. I always have to have some type of keychain on my bags just to make it extra special. So I have this one from Fui. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me open it though, because I can't do this with one hand. It's a very popular Korean uh, like K-beauty brand. And I wanted one of these for like the longest time, but they didn't have it available for sale until recently Olive Young had all of Young released these and I was like, I need it. So you basically just put whatever lip gloss or product you want and it has a little mirror. So cute. And then I have this little, I have this little plum that I got as a freebie for a Clio eyeshadow that I got, which is also another Korean beauty brand. It's very on brand. And lastly, this little calico- come on bag, stop spinning. And lastly, this little calico critter. She's so cute! So that's it for my um, keychains on my bag. I don't know where to start, because I feel like I, I just shove a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so these are my keys. And my lanyard. My lanyard is Jack, of course. Um, and I don't really have anything special, but it's my work keys. And then, last time I did have this in my bag, and I still do because I love it and my sister got it for me, so it's extra special. Um, it's this little coach wallet, but I don't use it as a wallet. I kind of use it as... I mean, I don't fully use it as a wallet. I almost use it as a makeup pouch and a wallet. Because I have my phone and Apple Pay, Apple stays paying. But in here, I like to keep whatever I'm using at the moment. So like, if I'm leaving the house, I'll just throw in whatever products I'm using that I feel like I'm gonna wanna touch up. But the first thing is my Barnes & Noble's membership because the girly loves to read. I say as I'm in like the biggest reading slump of my life. I'm just waiting for Reckless to cure my reading slump. Like, I think that that's possible. Then I have my ID, which I'm not gonna show because I don't want to, and that's too much information. Um, and pimple patches. And then next is the mascara that I've been using. Funny I say that and I'm not even wearing it today. But, um, it's this one by Romand. I love it because of how thin the little wand is. Like, it gets all the hairs. As you would think a mascara would. This is also waterproof, which is really good because a lot of the mascaras that I've used before have not been. And it showed. 
And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, which needs to be sharpened. I've tried my best to not have to sharpen it, but look at this. Like, you could tell that I've used and abused her. And this is one of my favorite lip products right now, so I like to keep her on me. It's by Roman. So pretty. Wow, I'm doing the beauty guru hand. I don't think anybody does that anymore. I'm not sure though. But look how pretty she is. This is like the perfect little tint. And she's so nicely blendable. Like, look at how she blends. And then I have the other one of my favorites, which is in the shade Nucadamia, also by Romand. Let me give you a little swatch. This is what she looks like. And are we surprised? Another lip product. This one is by... I never know how to pronounce this name. I don't know if it's Daisuke? Daisuk? Maybe? But this one is also so nice. It leaves your lips really glossy. And it looks like a gloss, but it's not. Like, it dries, but it looks glossy. I don't know if that made sense. But this is her. The next thing I have are these Hello Kitty blotting sheets. Before this, I didn't carry any blotting sheets, and that's probably a problem because I'm quite toily. But they're so cute! Look! I'm slightly mad because I saw recently that uh, they came out with matcha ones. Matcha! I need it! But yeah, it's so cute because you just... <laughs> you just do this and they work. Maybe I didn't need to use it at the moment, but like... Come on, demonstration, right? This thing that I have is gum. Right now I just have these because... I always like to have some type of gum on me. I saw this at TJ Maxx and I was like, yeah, well, why not? There's so many ASMR. I have Advil because I always have to have Advil on me. I just get headaches a lot and everyone's always asking me if I have Advil on me. Yeah, I do. They know where to come. Then I have this VIX inhaler because I have allergies. I'm actually surprised I don't have my tub of VIX. Sometimes when allergies are really bad, I just shove the tub of VIX in my bag and you know, got myself covered. But it works. I feel like everyone should have one of these. And I have this little sunscreen from Abib, I believe. This thing is so good and you can put it on over makeup, but I don't really want to put it on over my makeup to demonstrate right now because knowing myself, I will just go swipe and mess it up. That's my luck. And the next thing I have, which should have been in my makeup bag, but fell out, is this little lipstick by Musique Mansion. It's this one. It's so pretty. Can you tell what colors I like? <laughs> and then I have this hand sanitizer from Trader Joe's. I think I had this in my bag last time too. But, you know, consistency. Ooh, okay. And then I have this by Colorgram, which is another lip product. This thing is awesome though. So the top is like that, and then you just twist it a little bit. You twist it the other way, and then the product comes out. And the last thing that I have is just my uh, ridiculously clunky keychain. Because I love keychains, and the fact that there's only one key on this is actually really funny. But look! So this keychain 
the key holder itself is from Bagu, if you can tell by the huge Bagus on it. Um, then I have this one that I got as like a freebie for something I did years ago. I honestly can't remember right now. And then this one that I got at a cup sleeve event. Ooh, she's so pretty. Um, <laughs> this is just a keychain, a keychain tour. And this one is Eeyore. I got him at the Lego store with one of my friends. She has Winnie the Pooh and I have Eeyore. These two I got at Barnes and Nobles and they are fourth wing related. If you know, you know. So there's this one. And then this one, which I love because it has a quote on the back and it said, <laughs> it says, should I get the wing leader? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he got jokes. But yeah, that was it. This was a tour in its own. Yeah. She's empty. Minus that one little gum wrapper. But that was what was in my bag. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment below what other types of videos you would like me to do in the near future. So from now on, I'm going to be linking down below some links to help Palestine, Congo, Sudan, and more. If you have any other places that I probably left out, you can comment them below and I will definitely remember to put them in the description. But yeah, with that being said, I shall see you all in my next video. Bye guys!